wish I could do that. What? Yes! Yes! That right. was a bit weird. Let's, let's, let's go. Get into it, right. And welcome back to my channel if you're new here then go and hit the subscribe button down below also I would just like to say this is a sister tag part two so if you've not watched part one go and check that out um also part one is over on my sister's channel so go and check that out it's Chloe Furby that is it literally just, just Chloe just Furby that is it <laughs> um so yeah go and check that out after this video and uh yeah let's get on into the video. Oh, yes. <coughs> so we've just answered a few. So this is. Why am I so windy? I feel like this, like I think this, like Manchester weather. You know the wind being windy has just like gone into my body and now wants to pop back out. <laughs> right. What is the dumbest decision oh your sibling has ever made? Dummies. Your dumbest mm. decision was. I think we're quite good at deciding and making decisions. Yeah. Um, the dumbest decision that you've ever made is stealing my makeup, right? And then saying it was yours, and you've never even. It's like you've you've had you've rubbed I used to that when I was younger. Yeah, like you've. Are you, you, you used to fake tan. Like, she used to fake tan. When she went out and I used to get them. Um, and yeah. Yeah, that was your dumb decision because... I mean, it worked though. But you know, it's... You knew that it was yours. I mean, now I can get away with it. Both Maybelline, Superstay. Oh, yeah. Paley Shade. Got this shiz together, you know. But other than that, you know, you used to make some bad decisions, you girl, with your foundation. No, not with actually on my skin because I'd blend it and everything like that. It's just the fact that you knew it was mine. Yeah, but yeah. Um, the mis decision you. I feel like what I want to say is you've turned down something, but I feel like you've turned down something, which was, what was it? You turned down so, so, I think something. I forgot what it was. Mm. And it would have really like fingered, but I think it was dumb that you turned it down, but also it was like one of your most dumbest decisions, but it was also good because at the end of the day you wouldn't have been able to do it now that you're pregnant. What were it? It was, oh, what was it? That modeling thing. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. Um, oh yeah, because I did Miss Manchester back in 2017 and then got asked to do other things as well and then that was about august and then that we're like getting a asked company to asked things we oh yeah i'm not modeling with the i'm not the, the, yeah. yeah yeah i'm I've not got, gonna say the company just because i'm not gonna say it but it is literally such a good company to work it on. is a big company it is a big company and yeah i fell pregnant so i couldn't do that yeah, so I think it's dumb, but very smart that you made it as well. Mm hmm I should have done that for your smartest decision on my channel. You see, now it comes out. Yeah. Right, next one. Right, favourite memory together. Oh, we've had a lot, I think. Um, Favourite memory? Summer on holiday. Yeah, a lot of fun times were on holiday. Um, We've had quite a few lately because obviously we're a bit older now. We can do, like experience things a little bit more. Yeah. But I think we're going to have quite a few more memories in the near future because we'll be able to go out, do yeah. things, things like that. When she's not pregnant, we'll be able to. Yeah. So we'll go out and do stuff. I'm going to say that, yeah. I think that, but also one of my favourite days is, um, I think we are just before maybe you got pregnant. Or you, 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 like a couple, like a month or two. When we had that day where we literally just, we, f we actually filmed on that day afterwards, randomly, where we went shopping. Yeah, yeah, I remember and that. We, were, we filmed a vlog, but we never uploaded it. Yeah. Um, went to Manchester. We went to Manchester. Girly day. Girly day, shopping, food, lots of lots of food. Treated the sister dinner. Yeah, we went out and we just ba 
basically went out in Manchester and then came back. We filmed a YouTube channel randomly and that hit off. And I think, was that our first video that we did? I think it was. One thing that you can do but your sibling can't. So one thing I can do that you can't do. I have fake tan. No, I did my fake tan the other day and it actually went really well, but I don't I don't wear fake tan as much. Fake tan. Fake tan? Yeah, I can fake tan. Well I don't do it anymore, but I can fake tan in places and areas that you probably can't fake tan. Like you can't get the I can get my back. Oh, you should have seen. Oh. I was very proud of my fake tan for like I think it was like the second time that I've ever fake tan. That's so mad. Like with my age and everything, it's mad. And I actually said, to my mother, like I didn't have fake tan." No, one thing I can do that you can't do: <laughs> drive around in a car because I have a license. Yeah. Um. Well, you're going. Trying to, I think there's quite a few things that we both can do, which the other can't. But I can't think of what. Mm. One thing that know. you can do that I can't do. Baking. Mm, cooking. I can't make, like, can't I cannot make cupcakes and things. I can cook, like, burgers, things like that, but cupcakes, no. Mm. I really don't know. Next question then. Yes. Um, when did Lilla? When was the last time that we both went shopping together? Last summer. I think it was last summer. Yeah, because I fell pregnant just after. So I went. Oh yeah, yeah, that was long ago. That was like, and we used to always go together. Ago. Now we have got Yeah. Wowie, we are due a shopping trip. Yeah. Yes. So a haul will be coming soon. <laughs> oh, it's gone off. I think we should actually do a Primark challenge. Of course. Primark. Go to really Manchester. Free. Go to Primark. Get a challenge. Yeah. Um, which, one right? which one's most likely to yeah. have a big family? Right now, it's obviously you because you got a baby. Yeah, but how many kids do you want? Two or three. All right. Well, if you want three, then Depends. you. I don't want a middle child, so I have a two or four. Right. Well, I'm just. Gonna I think you. two actually. Well, yeah. I just wanted two. I think I'll be happy with two, but that's, obviously, you know, that's what I wanted. As soon as we had Harvey, me and Liam got a bit broody, and then we decided um, we'd rather obviously have a baby sooner rather than later. Yeah. Um. Just because obviously I'd be going back to work and things and it being a bit more harder so, so we decided to do it now. Mm -hmm. So I think we both have... I think probably the same. Yeah, they're quite, they'd be quite similar. So, But obviously you problem. right now because you're actually pregnant mm -hmm. and you've already got one. Who has the most friends and why? Chloe. Because I do not go out. Do you think? Yeah, I don't go out. Do I really? Like, I, I, I have friends. Yeah, you just but don't see them. I don't well. see them as much because obviously they've got babies now, married, things like that. Mm -hmm. You know, got their own house, so I don't really see them as much. But whereas you go out, you meet new people. Yeah. So, yeah. Who's more talented? Bloody hell, I don't know. You're quite talented at dancing. Yeah. Mm. I think that's quite a hard I think that is a hard one question. because there's so many different things that you can be talented at. But because you could be talented, talented at the same thing. We both do the exact same stuff. Yeah. So it's like mmm. Like there's so many different things that you could be talented, like art, sports, um, makeup, we both hair, hair the exact nails. Stuff. Yeah, so in fashion, that's quite hard. I think we're both Western. very, very talented. Like not to be thingy, but we are quite very talented 
we like if confident. there's something confident if there's something we are good at and that if we're good at it and we enjoy it then i think that's the best of both worlds to be honest we do excel if we try hard yeah like it's getting motivational but yeah wow Next Prime Minister over here, about what? Now you're more talented at giving blooming speeches. Next question, who is the oldest and who is the youngest? Well, why don't you guys leave a link in the down bar. And link in the comment? Yeah, leave us a comment in the down bar and tell us Who's who you older? think Even is the oldest Even though you probably guessed the from the video. And if you've watched our others, you wouldn't know. And I'd just like to point out, no... I am not 16. I have had a lot of comments saying I look 16. I am not 16. I'm actually old. <laughs> yeah. Don't tell them. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Um, next question. Who takes the longest to get ready? Yeah. Chloe's just answered that. <laughs> Me. Yeah, I'm gonna say if I don't have to get hard ready, then it'd be you. It depends what for though. Yeah, if we're going out clubbing or if we're going I think out drinks, the same. then because we'd probably get take the same to time. But if we just like back like today, you were probably quite quick actually. How long did it take you to get ready today? It actually, took me, it took me one forty of minutes to get me and Harvey ready. It didn't take me long because. I knew that we had to get out and quick and I just quickly like how long did it take though? Um about twenty, twenty five minutes. So not So long. it took me the longest. To get dressed and everything like that. So So yeah, it took me the longest today. Right, next. Who watches the most T V? I think you do. Cause I, I don't really It's probably me because I watch kids T V. Not gonna lie. Mm. I will sit there really, happily with Harvey and watch kids TV. I watch more YouTube and sometimes Netflix if I have time but I'm just quite busy right now. So. That's me at the moment, like I can't get into Netflix. I watch my friends with Liam in bed and like documentaries and stuff, but that's from about nine o'clock. Mm. And that's in bed with Liam, it's not actually me like, watching TV. You've watched that Madeline McCann documentary yeah. that has just come out. Send us your opinions on that. Wow, wow. Literally, mind blown. I'm only halfway through see episode two, so I need to catch up. I'm going to do that tonight, but you've watched them all, you've told me a bit, so. Some conspiracy mm. theories about that, I'm telling you. Yeah. Right, anyway, next question. Who's the better cook? Mm. You. Yeah. You always have been quite good at cooking. I used to love it when Chloe used to go to school and she'd <laughs> come home from food tech. She had about 50 cookies in a bag that she's just made and I'd be like, damn. I used to be quite creative in food tech. Because I did food tech for one of my GCSEs and mm. I loved it. Like I made these cookie monster cupcakes and it was so good. Very, very good at cooking, our Chloe. And they looked so down to a T. <laughs> Next is would your sibling rather choose success or being attractive? I think we kind of we've not answered this question, but I think we kind of touched it before. I'd rather be successful. Successful. Because look to be honest, looks are not Don't matter. No, it's about Personality, say if you're about friendship or relationship, or whatever. But if you think about it, if you're successful and you're confident, I think that can be attractive in someone. I think that is more attractive, being confident and successful. That is more sexy, that is more, yeah. you know, wham bam, thank you, because ma'am, like, yeah. than being, I don't know. Because if you look at someone. Page three. And you're like, like finding someone to date or whatever. If you're looking at someone and like two people, one's lazy, all about like, oh my looks, and like they're not successful, like they're just lazy, they don't have a, not like they don't have a job. They have but no like, get up and go. Yeah, they have no get up and go. And then the, the other one's like, confident, booted. they've got the act together, they're not staying in bed all day, 
all that, I think that's very confident. Mm. I have one very confident, that's very like successful. I yeah. think that's attractive. I have one friend and her business is like booming at the moment, like really, really, really building up. And I've never seen her looking so like confident and successful and she looks just so good for it. Mm. And it shows in like what you do as well, like being more confident and more successful. It, it does, it shows like if you've got more get up and go, you've got more like motivation mm. to do other Definitely. things and it gives you confidence, it really, really does like if you didn't have the confidence to just do something and also it's sure it may look more if a person is positive i think that reflects back on you and it makes you feel positive and it makes them attractive yeah definitely so definitely yeah if you're thought. motivated positive that makes you attractive so we answered that question to a t thank you <laughs> we yeah. actually have got the next prime minister in the room. I Can I just say, right, not gonna lie, loving this lighting, loving this background, like makeup set up, you know, this is like vibes. Vibes. You know? Might have to do some sister does my makeups because girl. I'm vibing off this big mirror with the lights around, you know, big <laughs> here, there, everywhere. Yeah. Because at the moment, my room's just like, have you, do you really want to, like, leave your toys everywhere? No. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, that is it for today's video. So, if you enjoyed having Chloe here again on the channel, don't forget to go and subscribe to her. I'll leave her Instagram links, socials down below. In the description bar don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and yeah go and check out part one if you haven't definitely because there is some tea in there and it's interesting because you'll find out a lot about us mm. that you wouldn't know yeah so go and check it out and i will see you guys in my next one bye, bye guys <laughs>